Hello and welcome. My name is Monique Afnan and during this webinar I'll be discussing with you the solutions, applications, and trends involving the implementation of smart grid technologies in remote areas. We will compare market solutions and how the integration of these smart grids can help utility companies to improve the reliability and availability of information in real time. In this webinar we will provide an overview of electric power in Brazil today, Brazil's current energy crisis, the evolution of traditional power grids into smart grids, how Orpcom can contribute to the development of smart grids, which clients are involved and their profile, and what end users expect from a satellite solution, what challenges companies are facing today, and how they can respond to the needs of their clients quickly and efficiently. And finally, we will go over an analysis of the technology available for seamless integration with smart grid solutions. Let's talk a little bit about the Brazilian electricity market. Brazil holds the 10th place among the countries that generate electricity around the world. It is the second largest producer of electricity from hydropower after China. And based on this infographic, we can observe that their main sources of electricity are hydroelectric, followed by thermal, wind with a very large growth potential, and solar. Brazil has experienced a very large drought problem in recent times. Since it depends on water to generate energy, the absence of rains affect the supply of energy generated by hydro. A major consequence of this scenario is that a blackout is inevitable if rainfall is 75% below average. So, consumers have a goal to accomplish, to reduce energy consumption by at least 20%. What we see is that this supply crisis is not a result of a problem that just happened recently, but as a result of loss of water in reservoirs, rivers, and streams across the country over the last 20 years. Thus, the lack of rainfall has a direct impact on energy rationing, in production causing a lack of energy for the productive sector, and an inflation where the price of food and other items begin to rise. This rise in prices spreads, reaching over 70% of the composition of the inflation index. This scenario mainly affects the end user and is reflected in their lives due to the increased cost of living caused directly by an increase in utility bills. Electricity theft is a current issue where unfortunately many are using a method called the cat in the power grid to steal electricity. The problem is that in addition to damages, this practice could jeopardize the power grid, and those responsible for the illegal connection may be subjected to legal action. Power companies also face losses due to power theft, since about 8% of the electricity consumption in the Brazilian market is consumed in an irregular manner. Electrical equipment is also at risk due to the decline in the quality of electricity and constant interruptions to the electrical system. In this slide, we have a beautiful view of Avenida Paulista at night, the most important avenue in Sao Paulo and one of the most important in Brazil. With millions of people every day and millions of dollars in business, imagine this area in complete darkness in the middle of rush hour with no traffic lights, no street lights, and no control. Imagine the technical issues and especially the social issues that would be caused by a blackout. That is what happened in 2009 more precisely on November 10th at 10 p.m., where a blackout left around 90 million people without electricity in Brazil. This scenario cannot repeat itself. Among the initiatives to improve the power grid, over the last three years, several utility companies in Brazil began to venture in a land still little explored technically, the so-called smart grids which are distribution and electricity transmission systems that have been endowed with IT resources and a higher degree of automation in order to substantially increase their operational efficiency. Today, this issue has spread across Brazil with numerous forums and conferences being held all over the country. As you can see in this infographic, many companies in Brazil are moving to smart grid solutions from small electricity cooperatives to large dealers. The concept of smart grids brings a shift from the standard in the electricity sector. These smart grids aim to optimize the production, distribution, and consumption of power, enabling new suppliers and customers to enter the network. 
with significant improvements in the quality of the energy supplied, as well as the ability to monitor, manage, and automate it. But for such an integration to work, certain mechanisms must be in place to allow for the equipment to be integrated to the network, reliably and in real time, whether it's for critical or non-critical applications. Orbcom has been working in Brazil to develop solutions applicable to the smart grid market, and during this presentation we'll talk about the solutions underway, the technologies in the market, and which are being used by Orbcom. Here's an important question. Who are the potential customers of Orbcom solutions in the electricity sector? First we have electricity cooperatives, which are small electric companies responsible for the construction, maintenance and operation of the electrical networks that they serve, and provide all the assistance needed by their members. Then we have large utility companies, which are large electricity distribution companies that encompass a wide area and have large number of consumers. These companies cater to urban as well as rural areas. Today, customers, whether large or small, need real-time communications that are highly reliable and available, meaning that the information from the power grid must reach the operation and distribution centers so that they can make decisions based on this information. It is noted that some of the solutions used have presented signal loss and instability at critical times, such as during storms. Nowadays, there is a range of solutions that power companies have sought, including fiber optics, radio networks, cellular technology, and satellite communications. Let's review these technologies. Applications using fiber optics offer some advantages and disadvantages. Among the advantages we can mention that the amount of data transmitted is potentially huge and that it is immune to electromagnetic interference and noise. Some disadvantages include the difficulty connecting fiber optics and the lack of standardization of the optical components. Radio has a history of good services in the data communication field particularly in electrical systems, but over the years this technology, which was very good in the past, has lost ground to other technologies such as cellular and satellite. Cellular technology still remains widely spread and used, but with increased demand and problems in signal stability, it has lost ground to satellite applications, especially in remote areas where there is no cellular coverage. Currently, with the spread of digital technology, the use of satellite solutions has become a reality, an affordable reality that is available to anyone interested in using it. In the following slides, we will discuss how the use of satellite telemetry can contribute significantly to the solutions in the field of electricity. The use of satellite for broadband is designed for the transmission of large quantities of data such as voice, images, video, and anything else you can think of. Satellite for telemetry, on the other hand, is geared towards the optimized transmission of data from devices installed on the power grid. The use of satellite telemetry terminals involves command control and telemetry. Considering that the installation is very easy and it is virtually maintenance-free, the equipment installed in the field is very discreet and is weather-resistant, and it allows for a high quality of data reporting. Let's talk about the difference between satellite solutions for broadband applications and for telemetry applications. The following table gives us a comparison of the two. In satellite for telemetry applications, the fact that the device is discrete is very important, since it doesn't draw any attention to itself thanks to its internal antenna, as opposed to broadband applications, where the devices are very noticeable due to their external antennas, making them susceptible to acts of vandalism. In terms of connection with telemetry applications, it's possible to connect via an RS-232 and RS-485 ports using the DNP 3.0 protocol and using the existing IOs. In comparison, broadband applications many times only include an IDN and Ethernet port, requiring an RS-232 converter. A very important feature is the programming and customization capacity of the telemetry application straight from the satellite terminal, unlike the broadband applications which don't have local processing capacity. 
And finally, there is the capacity of transmitting optimized and customized data, whereas broadband applications mainly work with raw data. Consider a field equipment application. In this installation, you can see an ORCOM satellite terminal controlling and obtaining data from an electricity distribution recloser in a remote region, namely a rural area with no cellular coverage where the only way to send data to the operations center is done through the use of satellite technology. The function of the satellite terminal is to receive control information and commands from the operations center and send them to the recloser, perform telemetry of analog and digital values, and monitor events and alarms so that the operations center can make decisions in real time. Highlighted, you can see the satellite telemetry terminal installed directly on top of the recloser box. In this application, the satellite terminal is connected to the recloser's control panel by an RS-232 port using the DNP 3.0 communication protocol. Observe how discreetly the terminal can be installed when positioned over the recloser's control panel. This terminal, with IP67 level protection, can be subjected to inclement weather with no major problems. The terminal can also be customized according to the customer's needs through local programming. This type of solution is geared towards applications in remote areas where there is no other type of coverage. The satellite terminal acts as a main communication device when there is no cellular coverage available, ensuring communication between the device and the operations center in real time, with high reliability and availability. The use of the dual mode version of the satellite terminal complements the transmission of messages increasing the availability and reliability of communication between the field devices and the company's SCADA application. So, if there's a loss of cellular coverage or instability in the connection, the terminal satellite connection will automatically become operational. And once the cellular coverage returns or stabilizes, the satellite connection returns to standby mode. With ORCOM's dual mode solution, the terminals have the ability to communicate both via satellite and via cellular increasing the versatility of use of the satellite terminals, more so even by the possibility of installing two cellular communication SIM cards at the same time, which is called a double operator. In this slide, we see the range of smart grid when integrated with different equipment used for the distribution of electricity. It can be integrated with devices such as reclosers, voltage regulators, capacitor banks, and smart meters to provide information such as line voltage, send trip and close commands directly to the recloser in the field, obtain analog and digital values, events, alarms, unsolicited messages, and power factor values. These informations enable the full integration of smart grids for distribution, providing the end user with an improvement in maintenance rates such as MTTF, mean time to failure, MTBF, mean time between failures, and MTTR, mean time to repair, with an excellent return on investment and with self-healing capabilities, such as opening, closing, and automatic maneuvers, thus solving the problem for critical and non-critical applications. In conclusion, due to the energy crisis, electricity companies need to accelerate their smart grid implementation. For areas with no cellular coverage, satellite telemetry technology is a logical choice since it does not require large investments in infrastructure. When choosing a satellite solution, it is important to analyze the actual requirements of the application. In many cases, a solution designed for telemetry applications is the best solution. ORCOM has offered a reliable solution with excellent cost effectiveness and easy installation for monitoring and controlling assets with smart grids. To learn more, you can contact us via email or visit our website. Thank you for your attention.